How is it even possible at Sunday Mass to give a boring, shallow, irrelevant homily about God or salvation? Well, possible or not, many of us manage it week after week. But it doesn't have to be that way. So often in life, how we view a task shapes how we respond to it. This also applies to preparing a homily. Having the right outlook here is the first key to success. So, how do I view the duty of preaching? Have I a casual attitude to the homily, not thinking too much about it, believing it's not very important, and spending little time preparing it? Am I content to just waffle on for a few minutes? Maybe I see preaching as a burden, a task I have to do each week, and I struggle to find something worthwhile or even passable to say. Perhaps I feel inadequate for the job, that I don't know enough theology or philosophy or sociology, that I'm no expert on scripture, that I lack the confidence or the courage to speak on certain doctrines or on controversial issues. Or maybe I think that some of the church's teaching is not really good news, that it is too demanding for people, and I try to ignore or dilute it. On the other hand, I may fully appreciate the privilege of being called to proclaim God's word, to declare his majesty, to announce the joy of salvation and the hope of heaven. As Christ's ambassador and responding to the Holy Spirit, I may be on fire to preach and welcome every opportunity to do so. Enthusiasm is contagious and that applies to both the faith and our preaching as much as to anything else. But zeal for preaching doesn't come naturally. We have to develop it. Our attitude to preaching then and how we might deepen our enthusiasm and zeal for this work is an important topic for reflection by each priest and deacon.